Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question and question is what is file table feature in SQL Server? How does it work? Just to uh, quickly answer this question for interview purposes, I have written down some points and I'll go uh, from, uh, we'll discuss each one of these. Uh, first is it's a, a file table feature is a, a, a feature in SQL Server uh, that it, it creates a special table that can store Windows files and documents in SQL Server. Enhanced version of file stream. Uh, file stream needs to be enabled in order to take advantage of file stream uh, file table feature in SQL Server. Just to let you know, by default, when you install SQL Server, file stream is not enabled. However, after installation, you can enable it anytime. Anytime you wanted to use Windows file system, anytime the integration needs to happen between SQL Server engine and Windows uh, file system, uh, you need to open, you need to enable file stream. So if you don't enable file stream, th these features are not going to work for you. And uh, again, this uh, file table feature uh, is available in SQL Server 2012 and above, uh, but uh, file stream is available in SQL Server 2008R2 um, and above. Um, how does it work? It uses file stream technology. Without file stream enabled, uh, you won't be able to use file uh, uh, file table feature. And file stream uh, it file stream integrates SQL Server Engine, as I said, with the Windows NTFS file system. F few of uh, uh, us, uh, you know, some of the some of you may actually have a question about like uh, since it stores the blob. Uh, data uh, files and documentation big documentation uh, um, and it's recommended that you should uh, use uh, file stream and file table when uh, file is uh, a little bit um, a file is above 1 MB at least in the size so it how it impacts on SQL Server performance well to answer that question that uh, it doesn't really impact SQL Server performance as far as the, the uh, transaction goes because it does not use SQL Server, Server buffer. It uses Windows NT cache and that's what it uses in order to retrieve data, write data, keep, keep up with the file stream. And I hope it helps.